Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Tomei is back, that's right. Tomei sent me some great products to, to review. Now that it's warming up, spring is here and summer's coming. Uh, some of these will come in very handy for, you know, after the whole winter and your car may be a little smelly after keeping it closed and stuff like that. And it needs time to air out. And then sometimes, you know, it gets really hot in the car. So check these out. This is gonna be one, this is gonna be one, then I got something a little smaller. So before we go any further, folks, I wanna remind you guys about the discount code, Tesla Talks. Tesla Talks, I'll put it right down here and down in the description below. Use that to get some awesome discounts on May products. Okay, folks, we're in the car and I'm in the passenger seat. The reason why is the first thing I'm going to show you is a nice little storage solution here for the Model Y. The first item we have up from Tomei is the front seat tray for the Model Y. Now, this is the box here. It comes in a pack of two. This is what it looks like right down here in the picture. That's the, an actual picture of it. But you know what? Instead of showing you the picture, let me show you the real thing. It's right here. Like I said, it comes in a pack of two. It's nice and well constructed. It's basically plastic but it's like a good sturdy plastic it's got at the side here it's got some nice uh rubber felt uh you, you'll i'll show you what this is for this is for when it goes into the actual uh guide rails or whatever uh, and in here it's striped or ribbed so things don't roll around so you know what you know whatever you want to put in here you can and i'll t show you where it goes but let me first start by putting some stuff if you need some extra rags maybe put some rags here an extra water bottle and as you can see with those things those little ribs here those little lines the water bottle won't like move around as much and uh we'll throw in a little, some camera equipment and stuff like that and let me show you where it goes now if you look down here if i put the camera down here you can see this whole area here is a big empty void now remember the model y unlike the model 3 is on rails, on risers, these are like riser rails, whatever they're called here. On a Model Y, you sit higher up. In the Model 3, you're sitting more to the ground, so there's less clearance. But here in the Model Y, you've got lots of clearance, as you can see here. So, to me, in their genius idea, they decided to make, you know, some kind of a tray for this area. And that's where this comes in. And here's the tray. And all you do is you take the tray, there's obviously a front side, as you can see, and then the back side. And you take the tray and it slides perfectly in here, folks, perfectly in here. And you can see the front tab stick out a little bit more. That's actually where it'll stop. And it fits in perfectly. That's, and like I was saying, that's what these little felt things are here for on the side. They go in and it fits in perfectly. And like the seat is further back now, but when I put the seat up, you'll see, uh, I'll put it where my wife or my passenger's normal position is. And keep in mind too, I don't know if you can see it here, I've got these aftermarket mats or liners in here and they've got a little lip here. Now, basically most of the liners, they'll have this little lip and this lip actually acts as a nice lock. Not that this is gonna go anywhere, but in case it does go forward, it'll get stopped right here by this little lip. Now, if you wanna take it out, all you do is lift it up and slide it out. And you can, as a passenger, you could be sitting down here, you know, just straddle your legs, open this up, just reach under and open it up and uh, get access to whatever you want. You can put anything you want in here, that'll fit. It's, it's a good size. You've got one for the passenger and one for the driver's side. You could put a handbag in here. Like uh, my wife likes to put her handbag when she goes and she doesn't like leaving it accessible. You can put it in the front, but if you just want to put it somewhere handy, out of sight, out of mind, put it in here, slide it in and uh, your handbag's out of the way. Now it's tucked away, you can't see it, it's hidden. When you need it, you just lift it up, slide it out and you can get, you can slide all the way out and then put it back in. You just angle it down a little bit and you put it in and it fits perfectly. This is a great storage solution. The Model Y and the Model 3 and or any Tesla has amazing storage to begin with. This just gives it an extra little practical storage solution for your Model Y. Okay, next product coming up is an air freshener. Now. In order to do this, I couldn't do it in my car because my car doesn't need an air fresher. So I thought good and hard. I'm thinking, who do I know that has a car that needs an air freshener? <laughs> so I came up with a great example of a person that actually is holding the camera. And I'm just going to turn the camera around. Say hi. Hi. It's <laughs> Franklin, uh, Wait, a.k.a. Mother Frunker. Hold on, Dex. I changed my mind. <laughs> oh, oh god okay see this is what i gotta put up with. so let's check out the air freshers then like i said they come small little air freshers this and then you can buy different uh scented inserts it comes with a couple in here already but you can buy additional inserts and i think there's two if not three different scents right now so i'm gonna open this up as we speak 
So I finally got it open. As you can see, this is a nice little layout and a nice little design of, not design, but a um, nice little presentation. Nice presentation of what it looks like. This itself is the insert, the wedge, the air freshener. And I know you can't see it on, on camera, but it's got some, it's plastic housing, but this metal part here, this bronze metal part, it, it also comes in, uh, I think like a silver or gray aluminum too. It just magnetically comes out and that's where you put the actual inserted scent. That's a really clever design. Yeah, because if you, I don't know if you can see there, but it has little magnets and little magnets on that side. And it just, listen, ASMR snaps in. So little uh, rubber stuff here. And then I guess this these holes here is where the airflow goes into and then it uh, channels the scent through there. And where it's gonna go, frankly, just point down here, uh, it goes in this uh, Model 3 or Model Y uh, single blade vent area here, just on the dash. So it'll go just like that. So let's open up the, and now what comes in this package, I, I don't know if you can get different ones, uh, it's Blossom Berry. Apparently these are supposed to last for typically about two weeks, maybe you can get more out of it. Uh, it's sealed, you get two of them, two of them come in there, and then afterwards you can buy the additional scents too. You pop this off, it's very dead simple. And then here is the scented wedge. And I mean, there is no installation video for this. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. It just sits in there. I mean. That's incredible. Yeah. Open it up for a sec. Oh, and there's still a little, nice hopefully you guys can see it. There's still little slits yeah. uh, in the actual little scented wedge thing that they put in. Yeah, to get it out now. That's a good question. Oh, it slides out, yeah. It slides yeah. out very easily. Okay. And there's little holes on that side of it to... Push put... the air through. Yeah. Yeah. They and... they, it's well engineered. Oh, it really is, well yeah. Thought. Snaps on. And then what you do from here, you take the double-sided tape off or the film off this, and it tells you to, right? Yep. And then we're going to put it right here on the cleanest part of the dash, uh, away from Franklin, because you don't want it overpowering right on... If you're just driving by yourself, you don't want it overpowering. Press it down a little bit, hold it down for a few seconds, and uh, look, as you can see, it's on there good. It's not going anywhere. You put the magnetic cover on there, and it's there. How, how does this work now? This is stuck on my car? Yeah, it's stuck on your car. You can have it. I'm not going to oh. take it off. This is my gift to you, even though you hate wait, me. Wait, 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 hold on. Thanks, Dax. <laughs> So that is the scent wedge, or not even called a scent wedge, I, sh I should get it right. It's called the air freshener for the Model 3 and the Model Y from Tame. Let's get on to the next product. Oh, thank you very much, Franklin, for helping me out with this. Go check out his channel. What is it? Mother Frunker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next product. <laughs> and scene. Go check out his channel. Uh, you get awesome FSD videos coming, coming soon. Okay, folks, let's see if we can do this in one take. Now, I was going to go outside and do this outside of the car because this expands pretty big the size of the windshield. But you know what? Let's do this practically because in real life, when you park and you uh, go to do this, you're not going to get outside. More, more than likely, you're going to stay in the car and do it. So it comes with a nice little uh, carrying case here, a little nice and round, small. But believe it or not, it fits this whole windshield, and I'll show you how. So you unzip it. It's got a nice little zipper. It comes out. You save the the bag don't throw it away <laughs> and then uh as you can see it's round like this and but it unfolds and i'll show you how it unfolds it just twists anyone that has kids that has these pop-up tents in the last 10 years you know what i mean so it unfolds like that and that's just half of it um trying to do this all in one take and i'm going to do this live so you guys get to see now there is some velcro right here this is going to be for the top and I'll show you what the Velcro is for. And of course the silver side is going to be out. So what you do is when you get the Velcro here, put it to the right hand side, unfold it like that on the windshield. Uh, there you go. Undo the Velcro here. This goes around the uh, <laughs> rear view mirror. And then you put these up and then use your visors, fold down your visor on one side, put it up on the right hand side there, fold down your visor. You can take it off the magnets or you can keep it on magnets, it doesn't matter. And that's it. I could just adjust it a little bit over here on this side. And there you go. Now it's completely covered. That took what? This is my first time and it took literally a minute, maybe a minute and a half. As you get more used to it, uh, it gets better. And you can see from the outside, it's 
It's got that silver reflective color, so it rejects the heat and uh, reflects the, the sunlight, so it doesn't keep the heat in here. Believe it or not, I've got the fan off so I so it doesn't interrupt with my audio recording here. The windows are up. It's only 10 degrees Celsius outside. These are white seats, so it's a white interior, and it's already getting warm in here. So can you imagine in the dead summer how hot this car is? Yes, most uh, Teslas have uh, that overheat protection for the cabin, and I highly suggest you use that. Some people don't like using it. They don't want to waste the energy on the battery pack, but if you don't, I would strongly suggest you invest in one of these. This is good to have in the dead of summer. Some places are hot even in like in the fall and in the spring down down in the south in the US. So people say, you know what, you have this, you'll never use it or it looks stupid or something. Like that. You know what? This one has no pattern on it. It looks very clean and professional. And as you saw there, it literally took a minute. So now if you're just running in the in the store for something, yeah, I probably don't put it up. But if you're out for a while and your car is going to be sitting in the heat in the, in the daytime, put this up. It takes less than a minute and when you Unpack it, let me show you how to unpack it. Uh, I'll learn with you guys. I swear to God, this is my first time. So you put the visors up, undo the Velcro. I think it may be tricky to fold this back in because I don't remember how I did it. But I'll learn with you guys. Put it back, uh, fold it in half, grab either end. And like I said, this is just experience from having kids and having uh, those little, little folding tents. And you twist it and turn. Oh yeah, there you go. You twist and turn. Uh, it's a little getting used to if you're not accustomed to it, but it goes into a full circle. Grab the bag, throw it back in the bag, and zip it up. How long did that take? That took less than a minute to do that one. Get it at Tomei, use my discount code down below, uh, get all those other products I mentioned. If you feel necessary that you need an air freshener or you need those storage compartments for your Y, I don't know what that was. I just made a noise. Uh, one of my kids' things. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I don't know if you remember my other products that I did from Tame. I should have put this at the beginning. I did other products in, in another video when I first started uh, working with Tame. This is my phone holder that I've had since, I think it was probably about three or four months now. I've charged it once. And as you can see, it works great. So I've only had to charge it once and it's working great. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a, a link right up here and to that video and you can check that out. Use the same code and you can get some awesome discounts for some awesome products there from Tomei. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.